Mothers Against Drunk Driving, MAD, has joined forces with the federal government and the American Medical Association to keep the legal drinking age in this country at 21. MAD is concerned with a not-so-quiet move to lower the drinking age to 18, led by blog sites like Choose Responsibility and YouthRights.org. So if on the one hand we're saying 18-year-olds are mature and responsible enough to handle every aspect of adulthood, then absolutely they're able to, uh, you know, have a can of beer or a glass of wine, um, it's absurd to have that double standard. And there are small signs their efforts have paid off. At least a dozen colleges are adapting social norm marketing, which steers students away from binge drinking, not by telling them it's illegal, but by pushing them to moderate, responsible drinking. In Kent, Ohio, where Kent State University is located, there is a push in city council to lower the drinking age from 21 to 18. MAD and its new coalition calls that dangerous, telling us one-third of traffic accidents involving teenagers are alcohol-related. I personally know what the effects of underage drinking feel like when Alyssa was declared dead. Withers' 15-year-old daughter was a passenger in a car with a drunk 17-year-old behind the wheel. Supporters of a lower drinking age don't dispute the numbers, but say the taboo associated with booze only add to the problem. If we were to really reform the way that we approach alcohol in this country, that it would make it safer and we wouldn't see all the problems that we see on the roads and in our homes.